reaches for it, hits it to right field. Springer still going back, still going back, and he's got it. Started to move forward first and then had to retreat quickly, robbing a Rosarena of extra bases and keeping this game start scoreless. Matt Duffy, former Angel. Oh, there he is, the rookie in his first game here at the Big A. Zach Neto making a play. Boy, this kid's got a lot of energy, and what a play this is. And he's got some hops, leaps up, and makes a great play, that all-important first out. What a play. Zach Neto, fantastic. And this hit back, caught by Adam, throws to second on a bounce, and he's got it for the double play to end the series. Taylor Walls takes it on a bounce. Adam, if I'm not mistaken, caught that behind his back. And then through to second to double up Santiago Espinal and the Rays salvage one in Toronto and are now 14 and two to begin the year. What a crazy way to end the game in a very entertaining series. Waldo Perdomo from the number nine spot. Up the middle, ranging is Bogart, twisting and firing and in time. Good play on both ends. Sandra Bogarts at short, and then Jake Cronenworth at first. Outstanding. Wow. Work it, Bogey. I thought this ball was ticketed for center field. You know what I smell? Extras. Walk off. Oh, wow. That's even better. Yes. And there it goes. High and deep to right. That baby is gone. And the Rays win it. A walk off. The Rays are 11 0 at home. A three-run homer in the bottom of the ninth, and the magic at Tropicana Field just keeps on coming. Seventh pitch to Peralta, and he lifts one out to left center, chasing Nimmo back in the gap to the warning track at the wall. He made the catch! Another brilliant play by Brandon Nimmo! He streaked across the outfield, made the backhand catch right before he was about to hit the fence. Nemo just continues to exult with his defense. As that ball deep at third. What a play, what a throw. McCutcheon is robbed. You have to be running down the line thinking to myself, thinking to yourself, why am I even running? He's just going to throw me out. Doesn't matter where it goes. He just makes it look so easy, and well, it's not. Look at his feet. They're not even like, he's not even in throwing position. Watch this. His feet are together. His arm is strong enough to throw it over there from any direction. Squares the bunt, pops it up, and it is caught! What a catch by Caratini! He took that off the back of a Zokar. What a play by Victor Caratini. Like a cat back there. Wow, what a catch with the bare hand. That's going to be a foul ball. The degree of difficulty on that play is off the charts. You have to pick the ball up through the mask, and sometimes on bunts, it's tough to do. And then you got to deal with a Zokar running through. That is an amazing play. In the air, center field. Mellinger back, back some more, near the wall. Jumps, and he made the catch. He stole a homer from Hayward. Cody Bellinger, what a play. Whoa, indeed. Cody Bellinger just stole a home run from Jason Hayward. The wall is only about eight feet high. Bellinger has played many games here. He reached up above the barrier and took a home run away from Hayward. Great play. I think the Dodger fans didn't know what to do, whether you cheer or boo Bellinger as he goes up over the wall. Swung on and missed strike three. Kershaw comes back and strikes out the side. Well, you start to look at what Clayton Kershaw has been able to do. Rolling right along. I mean, it has been a vintage Kershaw performance. Strike three swinging. Kershaw had enough of him. Swung on and missed strike three. Kershaw screamed in satisfaction. Pete Alonzo on the first pitch from Gretel. Skied into the air. The Dodgers have their first shutout of the season. And Clayton Kershaw becomes a 117th pitcher in Major League history to win 200 games.